Hey everybody, welcome back. So I've been thinking about, do I want to declare war on this guy? He's wickedly in debt. I have a powerful alliance with the middle Frankie who aren't in any other wars right now. I'm not in any other wars. God, that debt is insane. So the morale of their armies is really low. They make three times more money than I do a month. But with their armies raised, that huge army, they're not going to be making any money. They can't hire mercenaries like I can. We'd have them outnumbered by a little bit, even if I didn't use mercenaries. And their morale is going to be so much worse than ours. At the same time, I don't have a claim on their land. I could border dispute. But uh, border disputes, yeah, it costs me gold and piety. And all the Sunni in the realm will like me less. Which means even more murder plots on me. I could try and make them a tributary state. And I could probably pull it off. Um, basically, it's for the rest of that Sultan's life. He is giving up some of his money and some of his levy to me. Which would be a lot of money. Yeah, 20% of their income. Or I could do just tribute, which is 40% of their income, but none of their levy. Yeah, type of tributary breaks free upon the death of him. And it can be called into war. Mm. I don't know. The, the problem is I'd be responsible for defending them. It would fuck up our future plans of taking them over. I could a holy war for provinces, <clears throat> but the problem with holy warring is nearby Sunni rulers could join in. So like North Africans could join in and then we're outnumbered. I hate to give up on this big of an opportunity, but I don't think I can pull it off. We got to keep waiting. Uh, the plot power is still good, though. Let me, uh... Hmm. How much would I have to pay you? 23? Eh. Sorry, I was just looking into, like, could I speed up my murder? All right. <clears throat> Run the clock. So we're still building the castle town and the walls. What's what's going on here? Uh, child lacks childhood focus. Okay, this is my daughter. Um, just etiquette. She can be educated in etiquette. I just want her to befriend people. Ma making effort to spend more time with my half-brother. Yay, making him like me more. We both like each other more. Sweet. Is he already in on my murder plot? No, I hope he joins in now. Yay! Bribed a hunter! Take him on a trip to dispatch the child and make it look like an accident. Kid, just die this time, please. Yes! I heard the noise! Success! The hunter did what he was paid for and made sure that I uh, never returned from the hunting trip. He kept it quiet, but his ghastly deed to save his own skin, if nothing else. To hunt a man is truly the greatest sport. We did it! The kid's dead! Now, her heir is, uh, me. Let's kill her. <laughs> Initial plot power is really powerful. Look at this. Boom. Yeah, she's doomed. Man, these two are so gung-ho to help me murder everyone. It's awesome. I'm gonna get another county. Look at this. I've already got those, uh, those four. I'm gonna get this one, too. Ah, oh, yeah. Can you see why I want to change the laws to make it so I can have a bigger personal demizen? I'm getting them left and right. <sighs> Life is good. I think I'm going to stick with family for now still. Castletown built. Sweet. That'll help her income, which is hurt a bit by the pirates. But that's temporary. Oh my god, we got a plan going already? One of the maids is going to kill her. Okay. I approve of that plan. Yeah! Man, we're so good at murdering kids! Holy shit! I'm like the king of kid killing! Well, hold on, there's a lot going on here. Uh, uh, she wasn't caught and no one has any reason to blame me. The world's too cruel for children. Smother with a pillow by the maid, we bribed. So no one knows that I'm a murderer. I mean, everybody knows I tried to murder. Nobody knows I did murder. Alright. Uh, oh, he's got a war going on. Against who? West Francia? You're attacking West Francia. Okay. I mean, I kind of wanted to befriend them, but whatever. I'm not going to be an alliance breaker. I accept. We're at war. You can see the war icon down here. So, 
Uh, war score. This goes up to green 100 and all the way down to red 100. Green's in our favor, red's not in our favor. You could probably guess that much. So we're this side. Uh, so this is a rivalry war. Okay. So we don't have, like, a set goal in the war. Just occupy land and win big fights. And Wessex is on their side, eh? Yeah. This early in the game, they probably don't even have boats to come over the canal. So, I'm not overly concerned. They have almost 5,000 troops. Our allies have... Uh, a bit less. Although, if I combine my troops in, we have a bigger army than they do. Hopefully, we've got better generals than they do, because that could really turn the tide of the battle. And hopefully we've got better quality troops, you know? Like, I mean, they have a lot of light infantry and we have a lot of heavy infantry. That'd be pretty good. Right, um... Yeah, I think we just want to raise the army. Are you guys still dealing with... No, you don't have the revolt anymore, so we don't need the marshal there anymore. We don't need our spy master building a plot there anymore. Um, train troops, with this quality, we'd have 40% more troops in one territory. That's pretty nice. Doing that in our capital? It'd be a lot more. Tempting. Organizing the army doesn't decrease the cost of our levies, unfortunately. Just our retinue, which we won't have for quite a while, even though retinues are very good, and horde, which that's not our government type. I would love to improve commanders all the time, but uh, I think the troops are a little more important right now. Yeah, train troops in the capital. And uh, we don't need to murder anyone right now, do we? Well, I don't want a murder plot on my own spy master. I think he'll catch wise on that. How about you? Your kid's only six, but I'd be a kin killer if I kill you and get caught, so that's pretty bad. I really don't like this guy. It's my old marshal. How easy is it to kill you? You're really easy to kill, and you're not my kin. Your wife is. And that kid is a little harder to kill. Um, I feel like you're gonna die soon anyway. Maybe I should just kill your kid? Okay, if I were to try and kill this kid, who could I bribe? Uh, no one's bribable and no one hates this kid. Damn it. Could I revoke? No. Even if? No. Damn it. I was hoping I could just revoke. Um, I guess we'll not try to murder anyone right now. Go study technology in Constantinople. Hopefully they'll help us with our tech. Okay, everybody congregate over there. And while we're waiting, um, can we hire any good marshals? You are a talented man. Narrow flank, yeah, high marshal skill. I'll invite you to my court. Mm. Oh, hey, what, what, what do you have? You don't have a whole lot of marshal, but inspiring leader? Inspiring leader is good. Yeah, you're okay. I'll hire you. Okay, so we got some new people joining the country. There we go. Oh, castle walls are finished in the places we were building those in. Nice. And I want to show commanders only. We have some pretty shit commanders. <laughs> I can fit two more commanders. Let's take this new guy because he's quite good. And uh, yeah, just the two new guys. They seem to be pretty competent. Okay, so we're gonna just get all of our troops right here. Merge them all into one big army. How many do we have back home ready to raise? Just another 28? Yeah, that's like nothing. You can see it up there. We don't need them then. Okay, it auto assigns some of our worst guys. So we have pretty equal numbers in all of these. And they're pretty equal numbers of heavy, uh, heavy infantry, light infantry, and, and light cavalry. So I don't need to have like, oh, I have a cavalry expert. Let's have him on a flank with lots of cavalry, you know? Um, do we have anyone who excels at leading the center? You are good with a narrow flank. Modifies any flank led by this character. So you, I want you on one of the sides. Uh, they've got like equal numbers. So you're on the left side. 
You are a trickster, which is always a little scary. It's marginally useful. You're good at defense. I might want you to hold the center. Because losing the center is pretty bad. Uh, moral defense. Moral defense. Or moral damage on you. Okay. Um, We don't have any amazing commanders. Either than this guy. He's pretty solid. So in the center, I think I want the guy with a moral defense and a defense upgrade. So we can really hold a strong center. And for our right flank... Uh, it's gotta be one of these two. Moral defense or moral damage. And they both have the same martial skill. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is not an easy choice. Um, I kind of feel like we just rock in there and do the damage we can. We're going moral offense. Because the backbone of the army is going to be Carloman's army, not ours. We're kind of shock troops running in there and trying to do the damage that we can. They're still trying to congregate their troops. Ooh, um, right, there's a mountain range there. I want to get in here, but I don't want to just get immediately waylaid. How much are we spending here? Our yearly levy upkeep is 43 gold. So what are we getting a month? We're getting a net income of almost four ducats a month. So much less due to our army maintenance. <sighs> gotta do what we gotta do though. Okay, so we don't have the technology to get level two or level three castle towns yet because we need better castle walls and we don't have the tech for that. So I think what we just want to do is upgrade a bunch of our castle towns. So we got a better castle town going up in Leon. I'm focusing very heavy on income early. It'll pay off in the long run. Our superior management is what's going to make us better than the Umyad. We're going to become more powerful than them with less land due to superior management. Uh, lately I've become afraid that someone might be- might want to hurt me. I'm thinking about hiring a, no, two, food taste testers. Maybe a bodyguard would be a good idea. So we can become paranoid, 45% chance. Ne negative one to diplomacy, which isn't the worst in the world. Plus two to intrigue, which would actually be kind of useful. And the main thing is you'll constantly think people are trying to kill you. Frustrating, but it's there. Or I can not let fear rule my life, which will increase our diplomacy by one, but lose two intrigue. For the sake of staying alive, I would rather risk paranoia. Because that's not necessarily bad, whereas trusting... I consider trusting to be more bad than it is good. Okay, nothing happened. We get a notification if we became paranoid. Okay, so I'm at a very high speed and just pausing and unpausing a lot right now. Okay, we're in middle Frankian lands. I want to meet up with their army. They're the blue. I just want to meet up with our allies. Okay, good. West Francia tried to attack over a river crossing, and that really fucked them over. So West Francia lost that fight hard. Which is why we're now 44% positive, all due to that one battle going so incredibly heavily in our favor. Now, because this is a war in which we gain to- we- we serve to gain nothing, having a lot of war score at the end of this war will mean lots of prestige for our lineage. Because we're looked at as a good ally, you know? So our, our son needs an education. I'm going to educate him in pride. Tutored by counselors and noblemen, groomed for rulership. So he might become haughty and brooding. Uh, although struggle's pretty good because you can get rowdy, which can turn into brawny, which is really good. You know what? Loosely tutored, chiefly being left on his own devices to compete for other children's. Yes. That's what we'll do. Because I want him to grow up with a military education. As much as I want to grow the country a lot through development, I want a son with a big fucking army. Um, okay, defense back to get some Vikings just dissolved early. Alright, just meet up with their army. Okay, lowered it by one speed. Are we marching? Alright, I'll march with you. Where are we going, dude? You're going to Paris? Okay. Oh, down there, yep. Why are we going to Paris? We were on the offensive, dude. I wish there was a button to just auto follow an allied army. That'd be really useful. There might be and I just don't know. Why are we going this far down? Hey, so this is why you have your spy master studying Constantinople when you don't have a murder plot going on. Just random technology boosts, which are very valuable early on. 
What did we get? We got economic. Economic is what I care the most about. Because level 2 improved keeps is castle wall level 2, which I really want. Although castle infrastructure level 1 does increase our castle tax, and castles, as a feudal country, are what we personally rule. So that is pretty valuable. I consider the keeps more valuable right now, though. So, boom. Actually, could we immediately? Yeah, take the tax immediately. We got both of them because we were almost there naturally anyway. Uh, a son was born? Why do I care that you had a kid? Because it's a bastard? Yeah, it's a bastard, so... You're not even in my house. Yeah, I don't care. I don't know why the game thought that was important to show me. Where are we going? Are you in another war? You're also defending against the Sultan. Fuck, I'm not even in that war. You haven't called me into that war. We gotta end this war. Shit, okay. I'm gonna do some damage while I'm down here then. I'm gonna occupy one of their uh, provinces. I don't know what the fuck Carloman is thinking. He's gotta end his war with his brother fast. Alright, I'm gonna try and put some damage in for this war. I'm gonna occupy a province here. It's not gonna be much, but it'll be something. And plus, any war score that I can generate for myself? We got 3% right now. Any war score I can generate for myself is more prestige for me and my lineage. Do we have any threats from factions? Okay, most of the factions seem to be dissolving. I think it's because I'm a fairly popular leader, A, and B, I'm really powerful. I have a lot of counties and thus a much bigger army than any of my vassals. Okay, got a little bit of money out of that, although it's probably not offsetting the money I'm losing on it, on having the troops up, but it's something. It got me a tiny, tiny bit of war score. Yeah, two out of occupation. Um, they're occupying some of our land up here, though. Fuck, I don't know what they're thinking. How bad are these guys doing? They're finally out of their debt. Uh, did they borrow money from the Jews? Yep. They, they borrowed 300 gold from Jewish moneylenders. <sighs> their kinsmen aren't gonna like that. But got them the money they needed to pull out of the debt for the war. They're gonna have to pay that money back one day though, because their temple vassals are all gonna like them less. And that hurts. Got some more cash out of that. Nice. It's nice at least kind of breaking even, you know? Special tide. Yes! Got some more gold. I was just thinking about how I could do another castle town upgrade. Boom. We're really gonna be increasing our income now. Look at that, we get 80, uh, basically 89 a year. Oh, and that just went up to 92 almost a year. Not counting that we're currently paying for levy upkeep. They're attacking us, I wasn't paying close enough attention. Can I run in time? I'll, uh, come on. I'll be out of there in the 16th. He'll hit me on the 15th. Fuck, I can't run away. I have the advantage of having the mountain bonus, but he's going to win this fight. And I, Carloman can't get to me in time. Is there anywhere that I could run to quickly enough? That'd be on the 15th. What about here? 16th. Here? 15th. I'm gonna try to do that and run out of his land. We'll arrive on the same day. I think he'll still do the fight. I think I've lost that one. I made it out! Ho! Oh, yes! All right. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that fight is lost. Look at that. Yeah, we all surrendered and ran. Fuck. Yeah, it's a shattered retreat. So my guy's just running in a random direction until their morale is back. Favorite toy's gone missing and she won't go to bed without it. I'm gonna offer to buy a new one. It never works. Yeah, there's no pleasing this child. I mean, she's fussy. Oh, great. He's declared war on me. Who are you? You are specifically the Emir, which is like a, a duke who controls this land. So not the whole country. You do have a decent army, but I have a lot of money. First of all, I'm going to immediately call Carloman into the war. He's in hiding? You fuck. I'm going to call him into the war and hope for the best. I don't like that this is happening well. Okay, he agreed. 
Okay. He will honor my his war obligations, and I hope he actually stays true to that. Okay, we need to come back to my land immediately. And raise my vassal levies, gather them up in the capital. Vassal levies are the levies I'm allowed to have for my vassals, you probably could have guessed. Um, they get mad at me if I raise their levies for too long because they pay for it. But I need to muster up those extra troops right now. What is this? Oh, okay, someone's offering to join my war because it's a holy war. Who are you? Some count from right there? You're only going to contribute like 500 troops, but anything that saves mercenary costs, I will accept. You can join in my war. Okay, you're sending a large amount of troops up. I don't want them taking this, because if they win this war, they are taking land from me. And I don't want that happening. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that doesn't happen. This is why I got this mercenary money, folks. Even with my levy costs, I'm making 90 ducats a year. I am actually quite wealthy for a kingdom of my size. What are you set to right now? Train troops? Good, because I want that levy reinforcement rate to be high, because we just had a lot of deaths. Another person wants to join? Another small county. Okay, contribute your 300. I need every troop I can get. Wife's pregnant. Excellent. Okay. Our marshal just died. Fuck, that's not good timing. We just lost a lot of troops for that. Oh, God. Um, do we have a good backup? Why are you not as good as you used to be? Are you craven? You're wounded and it has an infection. Shit, he might die. You're the good one, too. Can we hire anyone better? We got real garbage to pick from. You're a new marshal. You're training the troops. Shit. It means you're not a commander anymore, I believe. Come on, just walk in here already. Okay. This is all I've got? Unless I could, uh, do that. Re-raise -re them. We're gonna need mercs. Yeah, this isn't enough troops. We need mercs. Uh, yeah, can't get any retinues yet. Retinues are so good. Okay. I want 3,000 of these guys. I want no chance of failure. So we're, we're looking in the 300 range. What do we choose in between? You two are identical. Although you have different commanders. Who's more talented? You're not very talented. You're not very talented at all. What about, uh, you? You're horrifically bad. Okay. I'm taking these these guys. So they're in the capital. I'm paying them a lot. As you can see here, they have, like, no morale to start with. We gotta just gather up the troops, let their morale come up. We're paying for them. Yeah, our yearly balance is way in the hole now. Paying 15 ducats a month. We're not going to be able to afford these guys for long. So we got to hit hard and fast. March to an adjacent place immediately. Make some ground. This is nerve-wracking. Do you have the right abilities for this? Yeah, we don't have anyone to lead the center anyway. Okay. We're just working with what we've got. Defeat. We lost a little money. Yeah, they've occupied a bit of land. I hope Carloman backs me up, because I'm actually really worried about this. Carloman- okay, th these two dudes are sending some troops over, but it's not much. At least they're doing something. Carloman's busy with his own shit over here. We gotta just hit them immediately. Our morale isn't perfect, but I can't afford to keep these mercs for long. What? What is this? Um, your wife has asked to be considered for the position of spymaster. The shit thing about- okay, first of all, I like my spymaster. Second, the shit thing about having your wife as a spymaster, less state intrigue, because you're not getting the bonus from having both your wife and your ch your chancellor or counselor or whatever. So I'm gonna say no. Makes her angry, but whatever. Okay, so the fight has started. Yes, yeah, the skirmish phase. We'll see how this is going. Uh, I don't like our left flank here. 
Oh, our middle's falling out. Are we really losing this? My marshal has initiated a massive recruitment drive in the capital. Good. Wait, did my backup get here already? This is really bad. Two of our flanks are trading. We're gonna lose this fight. Thanks for the tech. Uh, we're losing the fight. Oh god, no, come on! Even with all those mercenaries. We don't have the cash. Our mercenaries are gonna disband. Oh, this is really bad. We might actually lose land, even with all that money. King Carl likes us more. Cool. We're at war with him, though. This is really bad. We're still losing so much money. We gotta borrow money. We can't afford to lose these mercenaries right now. Borrow money from Jewish lenders. <sighs> okay, we're still hanging on to the, these mercenaries. Can't hire anymore. Okay, yeah, stop your retreat already. We can't lose this. Oh, is Carlo Man actually coming to help? Thank God, he's actually coming to help. Get marching back over there. Carlo Man, you better actually help me in this war. Another daughter is born. She is not a genius, that's a shame. What do I name her? Let's name her after uh, R mode, because R mode sends me tad points every single day, and it's amazing. All right, we have a huge army marching in to kick his ass. Fish, fresh fish, straight from the river. Vegetables, what? The clergy are not happy about the merchants setting stalls in the church squares. Um, no, they don't do any harm. Let them stay. I don't care if a bishop likes me a little less for a while. I'm not pissing off the people paying me. Oh, you're running now, are you? No, I want you fucking dead. Hey, you backing me up? Okay, whatever. He's at least getting my land back. Okay, good. My uh, nine-year-old daughter likes me more. Sweet. Come on. Yeah, their middle's falling out. Our morale's high. The rise of the Shia. Okay, whatever. Doesn't affect us that much yet. We won the big fight. That helped a lot. Fuck it. Well, I can still afford these mercenaries. We gotta waylay their lands. God, we're gonna be in the hole on money for a while due to this. Siege? What? Oh, it's my siege over there. I don't care about that so much anymore. Castletown done. Good. Anything to help us with the money. Oh, man. We're gonna have to pay... See, you get 300 ducats for borrowing from the Jewish money lenders. You need to pay them back 350, though. You can pay them back at your leisure. But until you pay him back, all of your temple vassals will like you less. You get out of my land. Carloman better deal with that. Oh, you know the guy who wants to join the war? He only has 350 troops to contribute, but I'll take anything I can get. Yeah, sieging them. How do you like it? Okay, we need to go win this fight. Winning big battles will get us the land quickly. Yeah, that made him stop. Coming at ya. What what happened? Our marshal died. Probably of that infection he had. Come on, is a new one available yet? Not a good one. God damn. Oh, but I want you. You're actually not a bad general. Uh so I will actually. Wait, are you already in my country? Yeah, you're already in my country. I'm stupid. Um, I thought I was looking at the invite list for a second. I will take you as my marshal. Keep training troops. Hit them, wipe out their army in a big fight, make the war score skyrocket. They don't occupy any of my land, and I occupy a bit of theirs. There, it's heavily in our favor now. It looks like they're running back to their land to take care of it. Okay, me and the mercs can take care of the rest of this. Hopefully. I need this war to be over as fast as possible. This is costing me so much money. I can't borrow anymore. I could dismiss some of my own troops. I don't need all of these anymore. I've raised levies for too long. They're getting really angry. 
split off special troops, split off mercenaries. It would mean they only have- oh no, they have multiple flanks, even with the mercenaries good. Okay, the mercenaries can take the good guys. <laughs> I call them good. The better ones. Wait, which one's the mercenary army here? I actually don't know. Uh, the mercenary one is the bigger one, okay. Yeah. These guys are the vassal ones and my own personal levies. I'm gonna go put them down because I don't think we need all of those anymore. So we're gonna save money by doing this. So we've disbanded all of them in friendly territory so we get them back instantly. And this should help with our monthly income once that updates. Okay, that's gotten a little better, but it's not great. You're trying to go up there to fight them? Okay. Yeah, that scared you. Oh yeah, by all means, come charge at me. Fucking idiot. I'll charge at you. Okay, I'm paying a ducat less a month. Massive recruitment drive in the capital, nice. Call for my physician, my wife is sick. Make sure she's healthy. Won another big fight. I might even be able to do this with my own levies from now on. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do instead. Wait, how big is my levy? My personal levy? It's a thousand, and then plus all their troops. That's more than enough. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna- we're gonna dismiss the mercenaries then. Oh, my daughter is rifling through my belongings, so I could become cruel by beating her. Uh, I think I'd rather not, and just lose a little prestige. Okay, here we go. So the this is the mercenary army. I will disband them. We are now a drunkard. Great. Oh no, we, we have the title of drunkard. We're not actually a drunkard. Great. It's a vicious rumor then. Okay. With all of our allies, we'll be fine. Get the better guys again. And march. Okay, we are- are we making money? I think we're- yeah, we're making money again! It's not much, but we're making money. It's positive again. Another war declaration on us. Are you fucking kidding me? Who declared this time? This guy. He's got another thousand troops. Come on, man. Call in Carloman. He said yes, thank you. I hope he actually contributes troops. Right when I dismiss the mercenaries, too, and I can't afford to bring in more mercenaries. Do I need the... Ugh, the vassal levies aren't much. I just need to end this war, and then I can focus on this war. Ah! Alright, next episode. Will these wars go well? I don't fucking know. Until next time, have a nice day.